Hi, Cancer. This is Lynn from Tinker Tarot here. Oh, that's better. The glasses on, I think. Um, here to do your September 2018 reading. Um, I wanted to say welcome and uh, to anyone new and anyone who's returned. Um, thanks for all your comments, likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate all your support. And um, I'll be doing part two of the Carcomancy readings um, this week. And we'll be looking at the numbers. So, stay tuned. Um, so when I was shuffling, because I always do a pre-shuffle, um, <laughs> they just jumped right out. So I cut them. I have not uh, flipped them over yet, but I cut them. So um, we're all ready to go. This month I'm using the Mythic Tarot. And um, I'm just doing a nine card reading, a past, present, future with three cards in each line to just shorten it up. And um, then I can start doing weekly readings if I have more time, you know. So anyway. Cancer, your first card is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles um, is about being very satisfied with what you've been able to accomplish thus far. Being proud of oneself, you know. You have, you have um, obviously, you know, a, a good job or something that is providing you with um, a way of life that you want, right? Um, it's also kind of a vision card. You know, you could, this is in the past, so it could be the vision that you have for, your, for yourself. That's your goal. That's where you want to be, and that's what you're working toward, okay? The next card is the Ace of Cups. This is, an, uh, you know, there could be an offer of love coming in, or that came in, rather, because this is past energy. Um, it's also an uprush of feeling, of emotion. You know, you uh, you have feelings for someone, or they have them for you, or both. You know, you can feel something here. And maybe, you know, you're looking at someone who, you know, you can do this with. You're, this is what you're wanting, and, and um, you're, you're kind of looking for that. Maybe you're making an offer to somebody, or vice versa. Um, but either way, you know, it's usually about love, and it's definitely about feelings. It's It could be about a family member um, or friend as well, um, but like I said, it's usually about love. So, the Hermit. So, the Hermit um, is about withdrawal, time alone to reflect, to um, get clarity. And, um, you know, it's like going into the cave and to get clarity. Not, not sure about this, you know. And maybe you're not sure about this feeling, this love, this offer. You're... You you could be fearing it too, you know. You could be fearing it in some ways. Um, maybe a fear of getting hurt. Um, but the whole idea to go into that cave is to to get clarity to um, It's within yourself. There's something within you you need to clear away. You you probably aren't seeing clearly because uh, there's something still affecting you, perhaps. You know, a lot of times in the hermit that happens. You, you need time away to reflect on what's just happened kind of thing. The first card, oops. The first card in your present energy is the moon. And um, the moon is about confusion as well. It's, you know, uh, 
It's about learning patience. It's funny because the hermit is about learning patience and so is the moon. The moon is a waiting card. You, you're you confused and you don't know what to do. You, um, you, you got to wait for things to unfold because it's just not clear to you yet. It's just not clear to you. Your next card is the Queen of Wands in your present energy, sorry. And the Queen of Wands um, is probably a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, she's, she's dynamic. She's industrious, creative, um, stable, and... Um, Tireless, it seems, at times. <laughs> Tireless. Anyway, she's right under your Ace of Cups, you know, so I'm wondering if this is who the feelings are about. Uh, this could be a man, too. I say in she, because that's how she's represented here. But um, this could be who the feelings are about, because she's right under your, uh, right next to your Ace of Cups in line in your future. And... You know, you could be unclear about your own feelings and your feelings for this person. Because um, I think you're impressed and I think they're kind of in line for your vision, what you, where you want to go. Um, because they are very industrious. Um, they are very um, loyal too. Very, very loyal. So, hmm. your next card is the Ace of Swords. So, the Ace of Swords um, is, this is also a gift. This is um, an offer of truth. This woman, you know, this truth is so big, she can barely wield it. Look how the size of that sword. She's trying to hold on to this, and she can't hold on to it much longer. She has got to get it out. And I think that's what's needed. It could... It could uh, be coming from you, but I, I think it's coming from this fire sign. Um, I think it's what's needed because... You know, uh, uh, around you right now, you feel unsure, you feel um, confused, you um, you want clarity in every way, you know, you really do. I think you want this person, but there's a little bit of fear around this fire sign for you, Cancer. You're afraid for some reason. Maybe you're afraid of all your feelings. Because this is a huge uprush of feelings. You're like, woo, woo, you know. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. But anyway, the first card in your uh, future is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Um... She's all about truth. She's very idealistic. She has high ideals and expectations for people. Um, she also spills her truth. Eh? She spills the beans. And, and if she has something to say, she says it. Um, but some say it's hard to live up to her ideals, her expectations, you know. Um, where is there room for human error in that? We're all human. And so, you know, this could be you, Cancer, uh, uh, that has high ideals. You're in this, you're, you're feeling this way. You, this is what you want. Or um, this is someone that's coming into your life that has very high ideals and, um, they're not going to settle, and they're they're going to speak their mind about it too. You know, um, 
sometimes it might seem a little cold, you know, this male or female, I should have said air sign, sorry, uh, Gemini, Libra, um, uh, Aquarius, <laughs> um, sometimes they can seem cold because their ideals, you know, they will, uh, remind you of where your errors are. And sometimes we need that in our lives, you know, and sometimes we don't want to hear it. It's like, shut up. <laughs> I know already. But, um, I think that this Ace of Swords and this Queen of Swords, is, if this is you or someone else, is going to clear up all the confusion, you know, the confusion and, um, and, and give you clarity here, a better picture of what you're in for kind of thing. Um, your next card is the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles, um, like all the threes, it's about initial success, initial celebration. Um, this looks like you could be doing something new. You could be starting some sort of a new project, career, um, business, um, hobby. I'm not really sure, but this is showing initial success. Um, there's people that are impressed and they're coming to you and asking you like, oh, geez, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? Or can I get some of what you're selling? Whatever it is you're doing. Um, but remember, it's just the three. There's more work to do before you um, have achieved everything that you want to. You know, don't get carried away because there's still hard work to do. Cancer, you're not afraid of hard work. You're a very hard worker and uh, also industrious. So this could really take you somewhere, you know. Um, it could be an offer by this woman or this air sign. There could be an air sign in your life. And they are offering you uh, something to, um, they could be given, offering you some sort of position, a job, uh, to help them with a project or something. Like I said, this could be man or woman. And then your uh, last card in your future is temperance. And, um, the temperance, um, this represents Sagittarius at times. It also represents balance and flow of feeling within oneself. Um, you don't want to be, um, you know, when I think about relationships, um, you go through good times and bad. And... Uh, you, um, when you first meet, it's like that honeymoon period and it's all really great, but a dispute is bound to happen. You know, it's bound to come up. You're bound to disagree or something's going to go wrong. And that's just like the even flow of feeling you and, and being able to express yourself. It can be as easy or as difficult as you want it to be. And it dep depends how you let that flow, you know. If you're hiding things and, and if you're um, not being honest about your feelings, then that is not flowing, is it? Um, so that's what you need and, and, and you probably expect it. So you need to give it. You, you will get what you give. That's the other thing, too, about temperance. It's not just about within the self. It's about um, an equal give and take within relationship. You know, you you if you want, you need to give. And um, when you give, you also want back. So it's that even flow in relationship. And this is something that you're going to accomplish in the future, which is really nice. Um...
this may really come together with this um, wand sign. You know, it looks like something more mature, you know, it, than just uh, it, it, by adolescent, I'm about to say adolescent, but it's it's not adolescence it's serious it's about investing yourself it's not spontaneous and whimful you thought about it you you've considered it um because you have a vision of what you want now and it's not just about passion and um it's not just about you have a more serious vision you know what i mean and so and with every person, we learn something about ourselves as well. So, anyway, all in all, this is a super reading. It shows doors opening for you emotionally and mentally. Um, and a new opportunity here that is going to show some early success. So, um, if you're craving to take on something new, it's coming your way. You know... Just by sometimes envisioning something, you know how they say that, um, what's the, uh, that, uh, Dr. Dwayne Dyer, is that his name? Uh, uh, Law of Attraction, Law of Attraction, that's it. Law of Attraction. So if you visualize it, if you think about it, you, and if you... If, you know, I say mapping a lot, like writing it out, What, wh where do I want to go? What do I want to do? And so you have your vision of what you want now. And um, that's the law of attraction. Just by knowing that's where you want to go, you're bringing it to yourself. You're bringing it. You're attracting it. So that's really nice, you know. Anyway, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye now.